Efforts to provide public access to the beaches along the Hollister Ranch coastline began in the 1970s. In 1971, the ranch was subdivided into 136 parcels to be sold for development. In 1972, voters passed Proposition 20 to protect California's coast from uncontrolled development. Proposition 20 ultimately led to the passage of the Coastal Act in 1976 and the permanent establishment of the California Coastal Commission and the creation of the State Coastal Conservancy. In the late 70s, Hollister owners began to develop their lots, and as was customary at the time, the Coastal Commission attempted to require public access rights as a part of the development process, but Hollister ranch owners objected and multiple lawsuits were filed. In 1979, the legislature stepped in and added a new section to the Coastal Act that created an alternative process for securing public access to the ranch coastline and similar coastal subdivisions. This amendment required the Coastal Commission to develop a coastal access program for Hollister, Landowners would pay special development permit fees, and these fees would be used to implement the public access program. In 1982, the Coastal Commission adopted a coastal access program for Hollister Ranch, and the Coastal Conservancy was tasked with implementing it. But Hollister Ranch owners blocked Conservancy staff and their consultants from accessing the property, and thus effectively blocked implementation of the access program. The legislature stepped in again in 1982 and temporarily set the permit fee at $5,000 per permit. Meanwhile, the Attorney General ordered Hollister to give the Conservancy access to the property. Then, in 1983, newly elected Governor George Duke Magian shelved further efforts to provide public access to Hollister Ranch beaches. After Duke Magian left office, the Coastal Commission and the Conservancy made occasional attempts over the next two decades to secure public access to the Hollister Ranch coast, but remained unsuccessful. Then, in 2018, a tangential issue at Hollister Ranch brought renewed attention to the lack of public access to the beaches. In response to the public's interest for access to the Hollister Ranch coastline, Assemblymember Monique Limon authored Assembly Bill 1680, which was signed into law by Governor Newsom in 2019. The law requires the Coastal Commission, Coastal Conservancy, State Parks, and State Lands Commission to develop a contemporary Hollister Ranch Coastal Access Program by April 2021 and to provide initial access under the program by April 2022.